deserted streets, roadblocks, and a very unusual calm around the lively towns and communities of Ikiti State. Different uniform operators dot every nook and cranny of the state, an obvious show of the sort of deployment for the election. At every polling unit, security operators are not in short demand. Peaceful might be a way to describe the exercise at several centers. The conduct of police operatives are simply put by the NBA Election Working Committee. But the fears of vote buying rears its ugly head. At corners around some of the polling centers, agents of some politicians lock around to compensate those who do their bidding. Unstable as these shots are, we could capture police officials chasing some of the guys suspected to be inducing voters around the Ajiloson area of Aduikiti. It was quite impressive seeing that um, a lot of the polling units opened on time. Uh, election officials were on time in several of the polling units. Um, the anxiety about the security at this time is still uh, under control. Uh, the police have been very helpful in a lot of the polling units. And um, what we are seeing is a calm, peaceful atmosphere. The turnout is good. People are coming out to vote. A major concern is the use of money in elections. We've seen a lot of um, monies being exchanged for votes, and I think it's something this country needs to face up to, that the abuse of the electoral votes by both votes buying is a major, major issue. Against criticisms of over-policing of the exercise, security operatives have perhaps gone through a tough bend to convince critics about their style, especially in terms of deployment. But the true test will come at the general elections next February. Welcome back. Let's quickly get back to Mr. Oguntwashi. Now, I, my question to you now is that uh, this win by Fayemi is seen by your party as victory for the president, Muhammad Buhari, ahead of the 2019 general elections. But there are critics who are saying now that this pointer should be a warning to PDP states and that uh, they cited, as a matter of fact, cited River State, cited Lagos State as uh, two other states that should learn from the lessons of, uh, of AKT. Where do you stand along that line of discussion? My position on that is, um, yes, AKT election uh, was the will be the start of a domino that will get us up to February uh, next year. After Ikiti, we go to Oshun, then from Oshun, we go to the presidential election. It was our plan, our, we, we made good effort at it to ensure that APC wins. Because if we, if we had failed, it would have been a very serious uh, matter for, uh, for our party. But the fact that we won is a good pointer in the direction of how Nigeria is going to go come February uh, 2019. And that is what we are working on. We plan to win and retain our control of the federal government. Because let, let us face it, FEC has tried uh, to redeem uh, some of the problems of this country. We worked at, at it. We will not yet be at the, uh, at the promised land that we said, but at least we are making very good progress to the best of my knowledge. But uh, looking at the, the difference in the votes, it's just about 19,338. So rightly saying, this could have been anyone to win that election in AKT State. They could have, well, it, it could have been Olushola, but uh, fire me won. So the margin is really close. Do you see this as a reflection of what could happen at the presidential elections? Uh, I will not necessarily put it that way. There are challenges to overcome. If you, if you analyze a little bit the dynamics of this equity election, uh, there is a possibility that maybe Olushola might have performed uh, better than he did if he has not been completely obfuscated by uh, his principal, Mr. Fauci, because Fauci sold the election out on the yeah, on the PD platform, as if it was an election between APC and Fayoshi, and uh, we, really nobody really knew who Eleka was, other than the fact that he's his deputy. Because uh, he, you cannot talk about Eleka in any ideological context, you cannot talk about it in any philosophical context, he was completely masked out by his principal. 
That is not what we did in the APC. In APC, we are proud to present the face of who we want to be, the face of the party. We do not mask ourselves. And that is the big difference, and that is part of what won this election uh, for us. Uh, the second issue, I think, is uh, the underestimated certain uh, issues that are developed around our primary, but those issues are completely in-house and we don't have to resolve our problems. We came together to resolve our problems. Our own idea was chase away the fox, come back and deal with the chicken, and that's exactly what we did, and we won this election. The margin that was close, uh, well, I don't think it will be a full reflection of what is going to happen in uh, 2019 at all. I expect we, were, we have challenges, especially because of the crisis in the middle belt of the country, uh, but I still expect that we'll be able to overcome those challenges, given the good nature of the uh, Mr. President. The President is going to campaign on the fact that his integrity quotient is still very high and is still credible before Nigerians. Mr. Gunso Asher, the PDP is particularly confident because they think that if or uh, when they get to court, if they're able to uh, perhaps nullify one local government, say, that had about 28 or 30,000 votes, you lose the elections. Is that something you're worried about? We are not worried about anything whatsoever because no, no illegality of the kind that my brother just described to you not too long ago took place. The election, to the best of my knowledge, was devoid of violence. It was free. It was fair. And, and therefore, we have no worry whatsoever that we are going to lose or anything is going to be nullified at all at the tribunal. Let them go ahead. But they should remember, four years ago, when they were on the other side, they had the control of the federal power, they, they brutalized so, several of us. It is, I believe that that is what they thought we were coming to do when they were shouting federal power, federal power, federal might. We didn't do it. But I also know that in spite of all the evidence of photochromatic activities that took place four years ago, we know that Dr. Carl Defayemi, in his gentlemanness, uh, congratulated uh, Fayoshi and considered the election in the interest of the greater peace of Ekiti State. I expect that PDP will also do the same thing. Let them reciprocate in kind the gesture that was extended to them four years ago. They should be capable of doing the same to us. Wind down with this. I mean, you raised uh, the challenge of vote buying. You say it is something that we need to address. We assume you're concerned about that. That's why you raised it. What do you suggest should really be done to stop vote buying? What I would suggest can stop it is one, as I said before, the National Orientation Agency should get up and start working about that. We need to educate our people to ensure that they, look, when a person gives you, like the PDP people gave 4,000 to, uh, to, to those who voted for them, a person who is coming to give you 4,000 now, let me tell you that you lose all moral right to question his behavior in power when he gets there. The people must learn to vote their conscience because the 4,000 you get today is not going to carry you far in the Nigeria of today. It probably will not last the rest of that day. Uh, therefore, it is the National Retention Agency is the body that I will charge to begin to do something about it, to actually and truly educate voters about the need to re let us remove money from the conduct of our elections. The National Retention Agency, working with security agencies, can actually deal with this problem. Well, all right, uh, we, we have to anchor at this point. But even though the report says that, well, if you say the PDP gave 4,000, they say you had to give higher, 5,000. So you think that that is also part of what should be challenged and stopped? I believe a national effort should be uh, encouraged, should be embarked upon to deal with this uh, situation. I don't believe it is good for our democracy. And, uh, we need to deal with it decisively. All right, Mr. Ben Ogunson Ashe, a member of the APC, thank you for talking to us this morning. Thank we'll, you. Yeah, we'll be back in a moment and turn our attention to other matters in a moment. Stay with us.